Ah, hello internet, back again. Uh, welcome to the office, uh, my, my workspace, my office, my where I spend most of my time to be honest. Um, a video I've not done in a while, this saxophone, had some comments on it, uh, and thanks for those, the comments really help and I enjoy them, they're, they're good, even if we have a little bit of banter, you know, and people are giving me a hard time, eh, whatever. Um, but yeah, one thing I've not done for a while is a, a video with a saxophone, made a good start on it, sort of got okay. Um, within a few weeks, got a few tunes of them about, but got a little bit disorientated with it as well. Um, I wanted to get better, obviously, as everybody does, and try to get more and more complicated with what I was doing. Um, and I felt a little bit held back, if I'm honest. Um, let me just explain. So, these are the saxophones in the selection at the moment, and um, this one is the, the Artemist, which, I'll be honest, I mean, for a, for a beginner, uh, as I was, and for getting started, been a brilliant saxophone, done me really well. Um, but as I've tried to do more and more, I found it struggling. Well, I found it fighting with me a little bit. Um, I've got the tenor behind here, the, the Boozy and Hawks, um, which, yeah, to be fair, has had a hard life. And uh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have bought it, but I don't know. Um, I've never really got on with the tenor, but I've got on better uh, with the auto, as you've seen from the videos as well. But like I say, I was finding myself in a little bit of a bottleneck. Um, so, I made a purchase. <laughs> now I've got three saxophones. So, let me, uh, let me just take you around. I've, I've literally just got this and literally unpacked it. Blew a few notes on it and that's about it. Um, what I've just done is give it a really good clean. Um, some of the keys were slightly sticky, looked like it hadn't been played in a while. Um, so I give them a little bit of a clean and a little bit of a oil up uh, with some proper oil. Um, so I believe this is a YAS274 or 5? Gee, I can't remember now. Um, hold on a sec. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, YAS275. And like I say, I've only just unpacked it. Um, it came in a case, quite a nice case actually. Um, probably Yamaha one. Uh, very good. A second hand, obviously, off eBay. I don't know, people say, eh, you shouldn't buy second hand, there's a lot of rubbish on there, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I was quite willing for the price I paid for this, which um, is £430, £40, something like that, which is cheap for one of these, to be fair. I thought, if it's a bag of rubbish, um, yeah, send it to a repairer and get it looked over. Um, but what I've done so far on it, um, it seems okay. And it is slightly easier to play than the old Artemis over there. I mean, the price difference is obviously massive. You know, they're, they're not a great deal of money in the, in the whole scheme of things, considering what saxophones cost. Uh, but obviously the Yamahas, you know, you're talking about uh, considerably more money uh, for, a, for a decent one. And this, this one isn't all that old. Apparently it's not been played much. And I have to say, yeah, I can go with that. Uh, and if you don't see wrong, some of the chrome's rubbed off there, but I think that's where it's you know, been sitting in the case, to be honest, and probably just transported uh, backs and forth to school, who knows. But anyway, let me, um, let me turn the camera around, set you up, and we'll play a couple of tunes, see how we're getting on with it. So we have a nice net strap. Let's use it. Let's be, let's be right. There it is. Now apparently you've got to warm saxophones up um, to get the most out of them, so... It was warm. It was cold when it came. Been in the back of a van for a while, I think. But um, yeah, let's see what we can get out of it. <laughs> Rusty on that one. <laughs> Shows how much I've played recently. And the dogs. Yeah, he's off. Um, God, didn't realise how rusty I was. But yeah, that sounds sounds nice. I've got um, a two read on it at the moment. I've been learning with a one and a half. But I'm on twos now. To see if I can get that, yeah, that, that greater sound. But also not get the squeaks with it. Because I was finding I was blowing too hard with a one and a half and, and getting squeaks. But um, I'm impressed, yeah, it, it feels good, and um, the key action, yeah, feels, <laughs> for what I know, <laughs> feels very sharp and very quick compared to the old one. Um, yeah, I like it. Let's, let's try another tune. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, I am rusty. 
Right, let's try again. <laughs> Almost forgotten that one. I need to practice, but they've got a decent instrument. Maybe I can. Um, madness. Let's go for madness. No. Hold on. Got to remember this one. No. I think we'll leave it there because I'm, I'm rubbish at that one but yeah there you go that's my new saxophone uh, Yamaha YAS 275 um, and for the price I paid I'm impressed so I better get practicing because I've got to get better at this if I made the commitment uh, for a better sax then yeah I've definitely got to, got to practice more um, I think the other two are going to be for sale to be fair um, I'm not sure about the tenor at the moment. I'm not sure if it's just me or the tenor that's not compatible. Um, I'm getting on, I'm <laughs> getting on all right with the auto, uh, and maybe I should stick with it for a while uh, and get good on the auto before I, I go for the tenor because it needs a, a bigger puff in that one. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's it for now. Um, like, subscribe, do all that rubbish, and uh, I will catch you later. Thanks, YouTube. Bye bye. <laughs>